What's up guys, Ron in here back with a, another food episode and today it is going to be a new subscription box I've just received. Uh, the company is Universal Yums. I do have, uh, well here's the box, pretty big box, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, they do offer two different sizes of boxes, uh, so I went with the larger one. This is a monthly uh, subscription, so this month is... Israel so I imagine everything will be kosher and stuff like that I have tried a few of the items already because again it's a pretty big box uh, the first one I've tried is these pretzels with uh, sesame seeds on them and just take one out here show you off show it a little bit obviously you can see it looks pretty much like a pretzel sesame seeds on it it seems very simple but these things are really good Way better than a regular pretzel. Um, good amount of salt, real good crunch, and that sesame seed just adds that little flair to it that just really makes it good. Like, I might even buy those again on Amazon or something if I can find them because those are quite good. The second one I tried was Bissell or Bisley, something like that. Bisley, I think. Um... They're little rings. They kind of look like Funyuns on the packaging, but they are not Funyuns at all. They're uh, little rings, and they honestly just taste like burned, maybe burned wheat. I don't know. All I can say is these aren't that good. They're not for me. Um, ugh, I regret eating that one. <laughs> Those I will not be uh, getting again. Ooh. And the third one I tried, which is the final one I've already tried, is Bamba Peanut Snacks. Uh, they look a lot like Cheeto Puffs. A little bit shorter, maybe. Uh, and then it's got peanut butter on it. Basically, they're peanut butter Cheetos. And honestly, I don't like them either. They're better than the Bisley, but it's weird. It's unsettling, honestly. I don't know. It's hard to describe it. But there's another Bamba in here that has hazelnut cream filling. These might be really good. I'm excited to try these. So let's uh, open these up. It smell good. Doesn't seem to be a lot of cream in that one. Or any of them, really. Um, you can kind of see it's hollow. Yeah, you can see my finger through it there. I uh, thought it'd have more cream in it. Hazelnut chocolate cream isn't my favorite. But yeah, those are those are much better. Those are actually pretty good. Hard to describe what they remind me of, but it's, I mean, it's the peanut butter and chocolate, and you got that crunch of a Cheeto puff. Hmm. Well, there you go. Uh, peanut snack Bamba with hazelnut cream filling. Those are actually uh, designed for the military, from what I've read, because they would always dip them. And hazelnut and having the two together was a problem or something. There's all kinds of cool stuff like that on the uh, information card that describes each item on the back with a little history or stuff like that. Ooh, got chocolate in my teeth now. Okay. There is another Bisley flavor, a falafel flavor. You can kind of see right there what it looks like. We'll open it up here. This is really cool though, guys. I do like this box. Uh, a lot of snack foods, things like that. There's a lot of candies uh, coming up. Ooh. Interesting. Almost smells like uh, taco seasoning. 
There you can see, uh, oops, <laughs> some of them. Yeah, there's definitely a meat flavor in there. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, onion, garlic. So that's getting the kind of taco seasoning smell as well. Makes sense. I don't know. I'm really confused about these. I could see really liking them. But at the moment, they're just kind of bizarre. They've got that same base flavor that the, uh, the smoky one has, but without the burned taste, which is much better. Hmm. I don't know. I think if I had grown up eating them, I'd like them, but as of right now, not for me. Tell you what, though, these pretzels. <laughs> okay. Next up is one that is completely in Hebrew. It is a Kif Kaf chocolate bar. Basically Kit Kat. So, from what I've seen, it might be a little chocolatier. Open it up here. Definitely looking like Kit Kat. There's some circles on it. I don't know what that's about. Looks like Kit Kat in the middle as well. I mean, nothing about it. I don't eat Kit Kat enough to know the difference. Um, definitely does seem a little maybe chocolatier, but they're good. But why buy these when you can buy Kit Kat? Okay, that's a Kif Kef. A lot of chocolate in here. Next up is a Pesek Zaman Classic. Let's see if it's on here. Well, of course it's on here. Um, it, the translation from Hebrew is timeout, so it's a timeout bar. Uh, so it's wafer, hazelnut, and chocolate? Milk, chocolatey, hazelnut, cream filled world. Okay. Let's uh, figure that out. Interesting. There's some little uh, like access points on the bottom there that they was probably used with the machinery. It's a little melted. It's one of the chunks snapped in half. It looks like Kit Kat again. There's the top of it. Um, it's melting very easily. Oh, it's an extremely chocolatey hazelnut Kit Kat. Wow. Here's the hazelnut cream. Might be on top. I don't know. The chocolate just peeled right off. Um, that's interesting. Very strong in the hazelnut flavoring. Which, again, not my favorite. I like chocolate, but hazelnut flavor itself... Not my thing. Uh, so that was Pe Pezek Zmont, a timeout bar. <laughs> it was a timeout bar. Interesting. Let me get another uh, pretzel here. These are doing good to get some of the chocolate out of my palate. Okay, more hazelnut. This is a mini hazelnut, an elite hazelnut chocolate bar. Imagine a Snickers, but with hazelnuts instead of peanuts. That could be good. Again, with my dislike of hazelnut, probably not going to love this. It only looks like a mini Snickers. 
See if we can uh, snap it. Oh, whoa. That is uh, nothing like a Snickers. Mostly nougat with some hazelnuts, and I don't think there's caramel in it. Mmm. No. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is very sugary. That is almost all nougat. Like the hazelnut actually was good in it. Oh. And there's no nutritional facts on that. So I have no idea how much sugar is in that. Wow, it is overpowering. Oh, hey, vey. Mm -mm. Ah, do not like the elite hazelnut chocolate bar. Woo! All right, next up is a halaba bar. I have it on here somewhere. Marble sesame halaba bar. Halaba is pr made primarily from sesame seed and butter, and apparently it stores very well, so it's a very popular product. Interesting. Let's see if we can get the better vision on it. It looks like it's frosted in the photo, but uh, it's not, I don't think. I don't know if this is going to break or crumble or anything. I'm going to crack it open, crack it in half over a napkin here. Okay, very solid. There's a good view of it. So, give that a shot. Oh. Oh, that's weird. And not good. Oh. Oh, man. Ooh. I could definitely taste the sesame seeds. Ew. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I don't really know what to say about that oh mm -mm. Mm -mm. wow okay <laughs> um very strong in the sesame sesame seeds it's slightly sweet it almost melted like chocolate but remained somewhat grainy I could see somebody liking it, definitely, but, ooh, not, not me, that's for sure. All right, we did get a handful of these uh, little toffees, um, as they say toffee, uh, toffee fruit chews, but I think they're more like saltwater taffy or something along those lines. Um, we got two strawberries here, so I'll try one of those. The wrapper is kind of cool. It's got a really happy little fruits on it. Now I said strawberry. It's kind of a square. Could almost be a pineapple, but wrong color, obviously. I'm pretty sure it's a strawberry. And uh, you know, just your average kind of chunk of fruit chew. I imagine it'll be good. The texture is interesting. It's somewhere between saltwater taffy and kind of a traditional starburst, something like that. Just solid, good fruit chew. Can't complain about that. And while I chew this, we're gonna get the next one ready. We're gonna be doing another elite. Uh, it's milk chocolate with popping candies. 14%, apparently. Uh, there's chunks of halava down here. 
<laughs> ah, stuck in my teeth. Okay. Let's open this up. It's supposed to be like uh, Pop Rocks. Those of us in America at least know what Pop Rocks are. I think most people know what Pop Rocks are. It's a carbonated candy that pops in your mouth. It was wrapped in foil as well, so. <laughs> Bit of a task to unwrap this whole guy. Little individual pips, kind of like Hershey's or anything like that. It's popping a little bit in my hand already. <laughs> Alright, I still have some of this fruit chew in my teeth. I'm going to try and get some out with the toothpick and not show it on screen because that's gross. Alright. I got most of it. Still tasting strawberry. Not sure if you can hear that. Wait. It tastes like a Nestle chocolate bar or something with popping candy. Which, when it comes to chocolate, I much prefer a dark chocolate. So these milk chocolate bars typically don't interest me very much. Uh, but if you do like Nestle chocolate, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. This is a nice change. A little bit of popping. Stuff like that. Not for me. Not bad, though. By no means bad. Alright, one last item, I think. Yep. Oh, by the way, there was also a... What I believe is sour apple. And orange of those fruit chews. Alright, finally, here we have Pinuki? Pinuki? It looks like a roll of Mentos. Uh, let's find it on here. Pinuki Cola Dragies. From the description, it sounds like it's a Cola Mentos, which is pretty cool. Open this up. Should have pre-opened some of this stuff. You know, it's brown. I don't know why I was just thinking it wouldn't be brown. Of course it's brown. It's cola. So there you go. It looks like a brown Mentos. A little squishy. Wow. It's a little sour. That is bizarre. I mean, yes, there's cola flavor. But it's also like a little sour. There's a an odd tartness. Those are weird. Again, not bad. Just very different and odd. I feel like maybe there is a Panuki original flavor or something like that. And if I knew those, this would make more sense. But that odd sour with cola, it's weird. Sour or even like acidic acid. So maybe like fruit flavor or something. So I wonder if there's a panuki fruit flavors or something like that. Either way, guys, um, that is every item. Some hits, some misses. Definitely for me, though, the hit of the box is these mega... Mega sesame seed sticks, pretzels, things. Which is weird. It's probably the most basic item in here. Um, but they're just really good. They're addictive. I ate probably six or eight of these last night because I just wanted to try something and couldn't stop. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, that's Universal Yums. Again, it's a monthly uh, box with... 
all kinds of foods from around the world. They'll put snacks, goodies, candies, things like that. Nothing you have to cook, which is really nice. You get a little info card about the area. Um, there's a hint for next month. Uh, ready for some more yums in your mouth? Start thinking of a place down south. If you're not into chilies, mangoes, or limes, that's okay. These yums will still make you say ole. So definitely somewhere Spanish, maybe even chili. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for now. I will bring you the next month's box because I'm going to continue this box. It is a good one. Uh, you can get the small box or the big box. There are two sizes. I don't remember the prices right offhand. I think the big box is 25 and the small box something like 15 But uh, Universal Yums is the company name. Check them out. And uh, for me, Zeronin, that's going to do it. Do thumbs up, do subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.